Hello, uh, welcome back to the channel. If I sound a little under the weather, I apologize. I'm getting over from being sick. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to my new 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK. It's a bare bones Jeep. Uh, I had it for, I got it like um, last Wednesday on a 212. Uh, but that will be another video. I will get into this. But what I'm doing today is has something to do with it, do with this. Um, let me show you. All right, what I have here is a four-piece um, cheap carpeting uh, mat set. They can actually trim to fit your car. Um, it's part number G1214X CBLK for black and. I don't really know who makes this. Uh, well, anyway, to make it easier, I got it from AutoZone. It was $24.99, and with tax, it was like $27. Bucks. Um, not to sound cheap, but the uh, the mats for the Jeep are very expensive. They're like $100 for the set. So with these, they said you can um, trim them to fit what you need. So that's what we're gonna do here. I apologize I don't have a workbench. It's uh, 38 degrees here in New York, it's kind of cold. Um, I'm gonna trim them with these, which I should have done a review and I never did them. These, <coughs> excuse me, these Milwaukee shears. I bought these a while ago. Uh, they were 20 bucks at Home Depot. I highly, highly, highly recommend you getting these. These things are so sharp, you could actually wind up losing the finger if you cut the wrong way. I was using those cheap, they were either free or 99 cents black scissors with the red center from Harbor Freight. They're garbage. They, after a while, they fall apart. The black red center piece, the bolt, whatever, um, the clip falls and breaks apart and they just fall apart in your hand. So um, we're going to take, we're going to open this up and I'm going to start to trim them. Okay, give me a second. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna film this the best I can. I'm sorry if I'm a little out of frame. So, it clips in here. Stupid tabs. Okay. Wow, they even come with a bunch of things to hook. Cheap plastic clips. I guess just to keep them all together. And they have, uh, on the back, they're supposed to be non-slip. They have these little nipples. So I guess when you put them on a rug, they don't slip. It's very, for 27 bucks, I get a couple years out of it, it's fine. It's very thin rubber with, like, carpeting textured grips. So like I said, if I get a couple of years out of them, that's fine. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. And I will explain in the other video, but while I'm doing this, um, and I've never owned a Jeep Wrangler before, and I had a JK, which was my backup car, and I hope you can hear this. With my on the, my uh, Jeep, the Wrangler, the new Wrangler, I don't really have any major plans for it. I am not going trailing with it. I am not going on the beach with it. I'm just using it back and forth, basically to go to work. In case it snows, um, you see the truck I'm working out of here is my Sierra, it's an 04. I'm still keeping that, so I'm still gonna have that, but it's like kinda gonna be my backup truck. You know, she runs great, she's only got 106,000 miles on her. But the old gray mare here's uh, starting to fall apart and she needs a little loving, so that's another day's story. So, um, what I'm going to do for I'm going to start with the back, with the Jeep. What I'm going to do, actually, what I should do is... Maybe use this to help see it better. What I'm going to do is, hopefully this comes out good. I'm going to trim all around here. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to trim around, all around here. And hopefully that should fit in the back of the Jeep. 
behind the seats. So they said that this is supposed to be easy to cut. Remember, these are super sharp. Okay. <laughs> actually cutting them are not that bad. It's actually, believe it or not, it's almost like paper. They're actually not that bad. Wow. I thought it would be a little thicker. But then again, these are uh, sharp. That's very really not not bad. Oh, this comes out. Yeah, the fronts are gonna be a little bit more trucky, tricky because they're not super big, but they're kind of odd. So after I trimmed it, I have all this. So <clears throat> we're gonna uh, trim the second one. I'm not gonna bore you with that. So we're gonna trim the second one real quick. I'm just gonna show you like real quick. I mean, it's not rocket scientist to uh, put them in. My interior is all black. Slide this forward. A little messy, but do is. I mean, that's kind of really it. They're in there. It's just to help protect, uh, you know, the floor. Like I said, you know, I could trim them down a little, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, and now on to the fronts. All right, we got the uh, backs installed. Now we're gonna do the fronts. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably gonna trim, if you can see this, all this out, probably almost because I know the fronts are a little bit tricky. So, let's see how that goes. And you can see, so actually you can see the end where I actually where I'm gonna cut. You can actually see it's probably, you know, it's made to be trimmed there too. So, on to the fronts. Yeah, the fronts are a little tricky because it's, it's weird the way the, uh, it sits. So, it's weird. So anyway, I, I've never had a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I, I love it, 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 you know, it's good, you know. It's not, you know, it's not the fastest thing, right? you know, it's just, it's dependable. And I got my, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do a video later, but it's, 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 it's a bare, it's bare bones. It's got no, it's got no uh, power, nothing. It's got crank, crank, uh, power windows it doesn't even have a factory alarm it's it's very it's got a uh, a CD player and a, a clock radio and that's all I really need I'm not I'm not into like these new cars with that navigation garbage and backup cameras it's garbage I just want I just want the basic cheap four-wheel drive it's simple the transfer case is simple it's you know it's direct even though it's probably like part of the electronic controls okay so that's my front so I'm thinking I might I might might have to trim this down which actually I think I'm probably I actually I think I'm gonna have to Not really, yeah. yeah. I might have to trim it down a little more because, like I said, the Jeep is a little weird. Uh, we'll find out when we cross that bridge. All right, I'm gonna trim the other one real quick and we'll do a test fit. Right. We're just cutting into the second one now. I know I said I'd uh, show you test it, but we'll just uh, trim this one out. Very cold in New York. Yeah, can't wait for the spring to come. We've been lucky. Actually, almost, I keep joking online, 
Uh, we actually in Long Island by me, we actually haven't had snow in almost two years. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's been cold, but no major, major like blizzards. And I still have a feeling I might actually have to, uh, I might have to lose this part. I actually didn't think I, I think I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna have to. Well, we're gonna go test fit them right now and see how it goes. All right, let's test fit these puppies. I right, need that. All right. Yeah, I didn't get um, I didn't get any factory mats with this. This is actually kind of not bad. Yeah, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad at all. That actually worked out pretty well. I don't know how you got in there. Yes, that's not bad at all. That's pretty good fit. That's the passenger side. I didn't get any uh, factory mats with this. Uh, let's go try the other side. All right, back to the makeshift bench here. Um, I just didn't like the way they sat on the driver's side. The gas pedal on the brake, so I'm actually going to take out this trunk. We'll try this again. I think we'll be okay. Let's, and I, I'm liking this better already. All right, I like that already. Oh, I like that already. I like that already. Cool. I like that already. It's not. It's a little hard to see. I apologize. It won't. It's not going to interfere at all with the brake or the gas pedal. It's got plenty of clearance. And it fits good. I like it. It cleans it up. Like I said, my truck didn't come with any uh, any uh, uh, mats at all. Um, like I said, this is a 2018 JK. It's plain everything. I'm gonna do another video on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the truck in a whole other video. But real quick, it's a plain Jane uh, JK, and I love it. All right. Okay, folks, well, as you can see with a little trimming, it uh, works. And they actually do have a uh, name. They're called Pro Elite PE, uh, part number G1214XC ELK, I guess it's for the color. So I guess if it was gray, it'd be like G R Y or whatever, or T A N for tan. Um, they trim the fit, four pieces, and I got them at AutoZone, $24.99 plus tax. So it came out to like 27, um, I'm sorry, 24.99 off the shelf, 27.99 with uh, 27 to change with tax. And like I said, I get a couple years out of them, that's fine. But these are Pro Elite, semi-custom trim to fit carpet floor mats. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, hopefully I'll have uh, a lot more videos coming soon. And like I said, I will be doing a video on my new JK soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.